How about some shopping news? A little uh, rare shopping news. Okay. okay. This is literally news about shopping that I read and I wanted to share with you. I thought it was really cool. Our friend Ben uh, Gilbert, who Gilbert. works for business. Ben I, Gilbert. Yeah, I know his name. He's a good friend of yours. Yeah, I know. known him for like a decade. Yeah, I know. I chat with him. Anyway, he had a good article that came up that he posted today that goes and takes you inside all of the game stops of New York City. It's basically a tour of New York City's game stops and basically gives you like really a detailed look of what a you know you're in New York City, right? You have the most traffic pretty much of anywhere. If the game the game stops here should be the best in the country and should be doing the best in the country. And when you look at the pictures, they all look pretty sad. It, they look like uh, like flea markets because now they're all filled with all these tchotchkes because the game business isn't good enough anymore and they have to sell all these you know, figures and toys and stuff. And they look like they've just been thrown on top of everything else because cause they have. Uh, did you look at this? Are you looking at these I pictures? I did, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. um, There's... <sighs> Why are your guys' GameStops so big? They're they're not. I think what okay. happened was the New York ones were the ones in, in because they've probably been there for a really really long time because you lock in these leases in in, in New York City for a long time, um, and I think when these leases come up, they they try to get rid of these big stores. Um, like for example, there were you know in our at Roosevelt Field, which is Wombat and I's major mall. There used to be two Game Stops in there. One was in a much bigger store than the other, and they 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 got rid of the big store, which I thought was weird. The, but the small store is too small. Right, the small the the small store it looks like a like a hoarder almost, like a yeah. hoarder's store. There's no room for more than three people to stand <laughs> in it at a time. It's weird. It's just like this article, like Ben points out in this article. It the stores are messy and they look like they have like a flea market vibe in a way with like makeshift tables thrown up and cardboard boxes with junk in them and, you know, yellow price tag stickers, $5 here. Like it's a weird thing. It's just, they're so fucked. Like they need to redo their entire image. Like there's nothing really salvageable about GameStop. I've been thinking. No, there's nothing salvageable. That's not, it's not necessarily their fault. It's just that this isn't a viable business anymore. The you know, Ben's blockbuster uh, analogy is pretty, you know, accurate. Well, it's oh that they're like well they're selling the the you know the crazy thing is like they're selling blockbuster T-shirts inside the GameStop and mm-hmm. it's a little too on the news. Um, but I was talking with Mrs. Cheapy at dinner tonight about another you know what could what could GameStop have done to prevent themselves from being in this situation what can they do to get them out of this situation it's just amazing how they didn't they never made that they never made a steam competitor what about a twitch competitor how come how come ninja we'll talk about ninja later but how come gamestop isn't announcing today that ninja's streaming on their platform they tried a gamestop tv yeah it's a pretty wide like and they did have success with Game Informer, you know, for mm-hmm. as much as much success as you as as any other video game magazine could have had. Again, a very old school like yeah. type of proposition uh, here. So, a magazine. so you know, in in some ways, they did have success with third with you know third party ideas. It just but these are all old school ideas. Like when yeah. you see like Steam coming up, and like okay, Steam has. You know what do they have? Like eighty percent of the market when they were before Epic, or find a way to integrate with Steam. I don't know. No, no, how fuck they that. Fuck that. that. They have more money than they have. They have plenty of money. Like they can make. I, they can I totally... was going to say to say they have more money. Than well, I don't know. We don't know. We don't yeah, know. They did at some point. They at did. some point, they did. <laughs> they did at some point. They could have easily put together like a a full on Steam competitor that had all the features. They did a half ass like downloadable client that just was was it yeah didn't they have something it was a just a, a, tr- a file trans way to transfer a file from them to you it wasn't it wasn't like a platform you know when they saw twitch when they saw justin tv and when and twitch coming up plenty of money to put into into something like that i mean it's just so it's obvious. A totally different 
totally different. Well, I, I guess it's obvious now. Like, but it's not. It's it's they. It was why, obvious. Why couldn't they, they have just gone back in time and set up a website no, that sold books? It's, it's like you have. <laughs> look, you're what in about the, an electronic bay? You. Why didn't they think of that? Well, I mean, that you know that what? seems more likely than than what you're saying. I would say, GP, as far as. They yeah, sell at least that's selling they sell used, used items. Items, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's too. You want to diversify your 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 revenue streams because they look. You know the writings on the wall that discs are going away eventually, and that used games are your are basically your your profit center. So you let, we have to get out of this. And yeah, they had the magazine with. Uh, they had know. the Think Geek. They had all the. But that's just another. I, I, I was gonna say because Think Geek wasn't a bad idea. It's just I mean, another old school. Topic seems to it's be a, doing okay. It's a store. I mean, it's not like it's not a digital. But that's what they, they are. are. They're, they're a store, though. They're a retail operation. Right, but those 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 operations are in danger. And those are the operations sure. that need but to. Or, that's what they or are. Do, or would the better idea? Do you? You know, if you're the Mister GameStop, do you franchise out the GameStop license? And make it like an in-store thing inside a Target. Like you rebrand the video. The brand game is worth Target, less than nothing. And then you start selling used games in Target. The brand is is, is that didn't work much, either though. Used yeah. games in in those stores. Well, that's are, because are Target employees didn't. It wasn't their focus. I'm saying sure. you take someone whose focus it is to do that. You're basically outsourcing the video game section of Target. Great. To GameStop within Target, sort of like what's how Target has with this? players towards what's, the what's end. What's Target's benefit here? They get they'll get some money out of that. They would get some money. It wouldn't be all yeah, the okay, they get things junk up their store. Yeah, it's that's never not, happening. It's never, none of yeah. these things are I, happening. I'm just it's not thinking, a good idea. It's just it's not even oh, a, yeah. it doesn't fix the problem. In the your pro- idea of building a time machine it's and not starting a time. Steam before Steam did. It's, I, I, who said that? I said when Steam had 80% of the market, it's not too late. You can make a fucking, you're GameStop. You're the major distributor of video games in the country. You can make an online platform and do what, do what you're doing digitally and then make I, a real competitor. Uh, but they'd had to change their philosophy completely because right. I, the, their their relationship with publishers and everything is is has always been tenuous because of their whole used market. Right. But they could have come in and said, hey look, okay, Epic, you know, do an Epic and say, hey, we'll give you a better better percent, a uh, better split. And now they're now they're looking really good to their public to their publishing partners. Right? It's just it's not that complicated. And <laughs> you know, if you're a billion dollar business and you realize that discs are go, everyone knows that discs were going away. You know, ten years ago, it's just a matter of time, right? It's it's not matter of when, if it's going to happen. It's it's going to happen. So at that point, you're like, all right, you know, selling used thing products, physical products, is, cannot be our business in fifteen years. Let's start thinking about what other things we can do, like things on the Bunko internet. Pops. Like, right, that doesn't, it, you know, everybody sells those. It's just, yeah, it's just, there's no, I, you know what I think the problem was? They, they were have so, the ex- exclusive Conan O'Brien one. Right, right. Yeah. I think the problem was, like, even when they, when GameStop.com launched and, the, you know, the whole, their whole online presence, I think they never really wanted it to be that great because they don't want to stop people from coming into the stores and trading in the used games. Sure. So I, I yes, bet you it that always is, took That was their bread and butter and they... The question, you know, it, who they owns, were very successful at it. They're it's a just, public company, right? Absolutely, GameStop? yeah, they okay. are. Okay, okay, yeah. It's not like in a holding company or that. No, kind of no, thing. no. St- still, they're public. Is that true? Yep. Okay. GME. I, I, their stock is in the single digits now. I sold it when it was like twenty something, like a, a long, long time ago. Good for you. Um, I could now it went much higher. It went higher than that. It went significantly higher than that after. And what did you do with that forty dollars? No, it was more than $40. <laughs> um, anyway, it's just like, uh, it's so frustrating. And I have, I, you know, I have some good ideas. Like, I'm not saying like it's going to save them, but. Well, now that the stock's in the single digits, why don't you buy it all up and make, make do whatever you want? Because I don't. <laughs> what are you, nuts? <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. 
It's still it's still a multi billion. They had a good run. They had a, good a hostile run. takeover of GameStop by GPD. No, I that would be you're great. I would, I would love those headlines. I just want to read that on on a Wall Street Journal dot com. I'd have to win a lot of Fortnite tournaments for that to happen. Cheap ass gamer CEO David Abrams. Right. No. <laughs> no. I have some good ideas. I'll tell you after the show. I don't want to give them good ideas away for free. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if they're good. Sell ideas. it to a hedge fund, liquidate everything. That's probably what'll fa- happen. Fail on purpose and make a profit because that's how hedge funds make money somehow. I don't know. You know, Toys R Us it. They need to redo Sears. their whole brand. It's just there's no there's no positives. Like, what is their brand? When when I uh, when you think of are, GameStop, if, like what's like? Do you think of the logo? Do you, what do you think of? Like nothing good, right? I think of oh, it's just the only place that has it in stock, right? Like there's nothing like. You used to think of that, like, remember they had, like, that bunny mascot thing? Like, that retro, they had, like, a little retro. No. No, you yeah, don't even remember that with, like, the coins? They, they used to make, like, Flash games? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, and there was, like, a little bunny thing, and that was, like, kind of cutesy. It wasn't, like, anything great or anything, but, like. Buck the bunny talking mascot. Mascot. Is that okay. what it is? I didn't know he had a name. I'm, like, it was nothing great. I'm not like can, trying to say it was anything great. You can buy a stuffed animal of him for ninety dollars on eBay right now. <laughs> Fantastic. But I don't know. Like, what's the what's the brand? Like, uh, it could have been something. I don't know. What Buck can you do? the bunny. What? The... <laughs> I I completely forgot about Buck the bunny. Anyway, that's check- okay. Yeah, of course. I don't wasn't. think he was around for very long. No. Well, check out, well, since this uh, Ben's article brought off this discussion, uh, it's on Business Insider. It's the GameStop New York tour. I'm sure you can find it. 